Okay! This is gonna be interesting to see if things work out the way they should. Okay, so, um, we're just gonna play Sonic Adventures. Uh, from the last time I streamed, I did mess around with the settings. Hopefully things work out fine. I did do some, like, quick tests here and there. It seems to be working. I don't see any choppy frames happening. But the gods that may be in the world of streaming on Twitch, shit might just happen. <laughs> Hopefully good shit. Okay, let me grab the controller. Advertisement! Okay. Uh, do I want to play like this? Or... There we go. This, this is way better. Okay, so yeah, we are playing the Sonic Adventure. Uh, this is on the GameCube, so it's the Director's Cut Edition. I am going to do a little bit of forewarning. Uh, as I was kind of testing the disc out and everything. Uh, sometimes it just randomly decided to stop reading the disc. I think it might be fine. But I don't know. If it does happen to do that at any point, we'll just switch over to... Uh, Sonic Adventure 2, and I'll have to get a new copy of uh, Sonic Adventure uh, on the GameCube. So we'll find out. I think we'll be fine. So, uh, yeah, this game was originally on the, uh, the Dreamcast. They poured it onto the GameCube and then poured it onto a bunch of other shit. The GameCube version is the best one because you get to use the best controller. Before we start, though, um,. I'm not seeing any frames dropping, but that's also because nothing's fucking happening. <laughs> There's just a blinking light, and that's literally it. Um, yeah, not even the, the background scrolling. Uh, before we start, grab your beverage of choice. I got Dr. Pepper. It is the, the best soda in the world. Drink that shit up. Okay. Let's do this. Things to note about uh, Sonic 3D games. <laughs> I haven't gone fast yet. Frames cannot be dropped. Exactly. Things to know about uh, Sonic 3D games is uh, they're notorious for a few things here and there, but uh, Adventure 1 and 2 are pretty damn good um, for the most part. Voice acting is like a perfect level of like cheesiness and so is the story around it but it's it's definitely leagues above uh what we got much later <laughs> let's do this how's the sound on the game volume we are able to hear the background music right just want to get confirmation of that because you got to hear some of this fucking voice acting if you've never seen one of these games before Might even have to jump into the options. They're not shit. No. Okay, I'm I'm never gonna say Sonic 3D games are absolute shit. It could be a tad louder, but it's fine. Okay, but I'm not gonna mess with it. If it's fine. Oh, we can go in options and make sure the voices are heard. Options. You can customize various options. Okay, not that. Okay, let's just try for sound test. Oh no, we, we have subtitles. Okay, we can't mess with those, alright. That's fine. I wouldn't even say most! I would not say even most, because... So, like, you got 06, which is definitively, like, not a good game. For certain. And then, like... I don't know if you would count the two that were on the Wii as being technically 3D because they're not 3D in a traditional sense. They're very auto scrollery. Auto scrollery. But I didn't mind Sonic Unleash or um, the other Sonic game that came out after Unleash, which the name of it just kind of escapes me at the moment. I can't think of what it is, and it's going to bug me now. Sonic Unleash. No, it's just one after Sonic Unleash. Uh, Generations was good. 
forces... Forces is iffy. Actually, for the most part, the only thing bad about Forces is the 2D sections. <laughs> so, I don't know if that technically counts. Decisive opinions will be decisive. Okay. Uh, we can only start with Sonic. I forgot. It's been forever since I played this game. Let's get him! Best story in this is Big the Cat. <laughs> Who was voiced by John St. John, I think. Froggy! If it looks like I'm off to the sides because, like, the camera's kind of covering a little bit of the TV. I like that he vibrates a little bit. What's up? What's up? I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. The three parts and forces are super short and start to blend because they don't do enough to differentiate themselves stage to stage. Yeah, that's true. I'll give you that. Like, there's not a whole lot of difference uh, with them. Especially in, like, the environments, too. And the weapons on the OC levels are just awful. Yeah. Forces can be summarized as being just bland. And a lot of that has to also be in part to the fact that we got uh, Sonic Mania at the, around the same time. So, like, your expectations for a Sonic game are like, elevated because you played a good Sonic game, and then you get, like, Sonic Forces, which, in all, like I said, it's just, it's a very straight-laced, very, you know, bland Sonic game, which could have been, like, oh, it's a, it's better than some of the, uh, other 3D Sonic games, but because we got Sonic Mania, our expectations for Sonic games are now a little higher uh, than they were before. Boss fight! Oh, jeez. I need my rings. In the markings. So this is Chaos Zero. He is the the main villain within this uh, game. Can I? Would not let me have that ring. There we go. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Fucking Sonic looks like a gremlin in his stance. Come on, you big drip. Where you going? Get back here, faker. Hey, things are looking good. No frames have been dropped yet. You know nothing. It's chaos, the god of oh! <laughs> 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 Fucking Eggman. I try forces as wasted potential. OC creator is too thin. You need to get to max rank uh, just to get all the stuff. And the 2D sections never should have been in there. Needs more edge, uh, but less Eggman war. Yeah, no, that's that's absolutely fair. Wasted potential is, is definitely the best way to describe forces. Because it's like, oh, cool, your own Sonic character. Uh, you know, the promise of what we got from Generations as far as the 3D sections went. Uh, it it should have been a, a little bit better than it was at the very least. But does come off as being like shoehorned a tad bit. So this is the, uh, one of the big draws of, uh, the Sonic Adventure 1 game, because 2 decided to ditch the overworld stuff. But you get to walk around this, like, overworld that has, like, you know, a city, 
Uh, there's ruins, and then the other area is the egg carrier, I think. So there's, it's a, it's a, it's a neat little thing. We're gonna go see Tails. I also think Mania was too good and made Forces look a lot worse. Uh, worse than it actually was. Oh yeah, like, I absolutely agree with that. Like, Mania, um, changed people's expectations for a Sonic game. And that just kind of ends up- any series could have fallen prey to that. Like, as soon as- motherfucker. I'm talking here and, uh, how do I get back up? I've usually never fallen off that. Um, usually when you, uh, in a series you've had, like, some kind of, you know, a string of mediocre games. Or rather ranging from bad to mediocre. And then you get, like, one good one. Your expectations for anything that, uh, precedes that or comes after that, rather, um, you tend to be a little more critical, because you're like, well, you, we can get this kind of game, why, why is the quality like that? You know, it's the same, it's, uh, we kind of got that in the same way with, um, Mario games, for, you know, after... Oh, wow, that's never happened. <laughs> Whoops. Um, after Sunshine, we just kind of got, like, a slew of, you know, Mario games are great, but, like, after Sunshine, we just got things like, you know, the 3D World games, we got the Galaxy games, and they were all good, but, like, they weren't as good as uh, other 3D Mario games. And then we got Odyssey, and it's just like, well, fuck, the next Mario game has to, like, be better than Odyssey, which is... If we get anything that isn't quite Odyssey level, or kind of lives up to that expectation, rather, it's going to be uh, seen in a slightly different light. So any series can fall prey to that very easily, but Sonic especially, just because of how fucking good Mania was compared to everything else. What I'm trying to say is it's not just exclusively a Sonic problem. It's just Sonic was uniquely plagued by that. If it's not obvious, this game isn't uh, exactly great with a lot of its uh, detection bits. Trying to go in a straight line is not happening. Why did I run into you? Bad monkey. Grab the little penguin. We'll definitely visit the Chow Garden. It's the best part of these games. We'll use our little penguin to, uh... Penguin the... Oh, I don't think that actually works in the first one. Man, Sega is getting uh, their shit back together. Look at how good Mania is. Yeah, but... It was really... It really was Yeah, no, no. The All Sega really did as far as Mania is concerned is they like, picked the right people for the job. Not Well, I mean, like, uh, the guy who is in charge of Sonic games picked the right people for Mania. Which is why they are making a Sonic Mania 2, I believe, as well. If I recall correctly, I swore I heard that. I mean... It would be stupid for them not to. If you're going to play any game for the Chow Garden, you play Adventure 2 just because there's a lot more robustness to its Chow Garden stuff. Whoa! Because in that one, you can, uh really do a lot with your chows and this one it's not near it's there but not as good as uh two does it's 
Sega so just doesn't get it. They just have to make a game that allows you to do a lot of Chow Garden stuff and somehow do none of the Sonic stuff. <laughs> Hooray, we saved. Um, we'll just continue with Sonic. So. I wasn't listening, but I think I gotta go to Mystic Ruins. Beats the feeling of playing as Eggman and just throwing chows around. Yep. <laughs> hey, you go, little boy. Yay, we're going to Mystic Ruins, and we're going to beat Eggman up. I have such fond memories of going over to my friend's place that used to live across the street from me. And he had a Dreamcast, he had uh, Sonic 1, he had Sonic 2, Shuffle as well. And a, quite a couple of other ones. Um, and yeah, playing this, like on the Dreamcast, and, like, the only other thing I would referenced to for 3D games was a couple of... I don't know if I had a PlayStation at the time. But it was just playing, like, Sonic games on the Dreamcast. I was like, oh my god, the Dreamcast is so fucking good. Turning frames dropping, so whatever that did seems to fix the problem. Is, is it looking good on your guys' end? Looks very good. That is that is great. We solved the problem. Well, I fiddle around with some settings. I have no idea what they were that I fixed it. Uh. Okay. Let's see if I... It, it's so weird because, like, I haven't played Sonic Adventure. Um, I might play it a little bit when they released it, or reported it onto the 360 and the PlayStation 3. Uh, god, probably what, six years ago? Six or seven, it feels like. And I didn't even play it fully. I kind of just, like, played it a little bit for nostalgia. And I I remember this game very fondly. Because I played the shit out of it. Uh, I went over to my friend's place a lot and played both the Dreamcast and the GameCube uh, port of it a lot. My fondest memories of Sonic are during, like, some of the least robust 3D gameplay possible. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. I know what I did, but I did it anyways. <laughs> I was just looking at things, I'm like, this seems like something that might help it. <laughs> Let's fuck around with this option a little bit. Well, the biggest hit was that it was the gameplay that was all choppy and not the webcam. So kind of thinking from that perspective. Tails, you fuck! So yeah, the, the plot is Eggman's trying to get all of the Chaos Emeralds to feed it to Chaos. Every time he gets a Chaos Emerald, he he becomes slightly more uh, oh, yes. evolved. Just, just <laughs> His every time. 
It's it was it's crazy to think that for like years after this game had came out, that chaos just kind of disappeared from like the Sonic uh, lore entirely. And Sonic Battle comes along and Chaos is fucking in there. It's just like, oh my god! You came back! And then he disappeared again. Only to be slightly referenced in... I think he's referenced in the Smash Brothers games as like a trophy or stickers. No way, Tails! When a death creature known as Chaos gets a Chaos Emerald, it becomes stronger. My god, I could never have guessed. <laughs> I remember when uh, when I was first playing this game, years ago. Dreamcast days. Um, I didn't even hear which way I was supposed to go. I think it's this. Oh, is it? I know this... Or is this the Chow Garden? That's the Chow Garden. And the camera's terrible. Nope, that's for Knuckles. There is a button that should have let me get a hint because I wasn't paying attention. Nope, not that one. Not that one. Sir, can I talk to you? Can I have a minute of your time and tell you about our Lord and Savior, Chaos? <laughs> oh, let's not go that way. <laughs> oh. Do I... Go... Here. Hello. This windstone looks like it might be the key to something. Where... It's all coming back to me. There we go. The key is floating. <laughs> Thank you, Sonic, for pointing that out. So you know what, what to do because you'd be listening to the dialogue. And, <laughs> and I don't listen to the dialogue. Well, I haven't for a while. Thank you, Tails, for grabbing that. I'm stuck on geometry a little bit. It is crazy to think like they like kind of had it pretty solidly uh, put in place how to do a 3D Sonic game, and then they uh, someone fucked it up with 06. I'm never not gonna figure out how the hell that happened. Because as like, you know, very um, imperfect as uh, this game is, once again, it's leaks better than 06. <laughs> Like, all you have to do, really, is refine the controls a little bit more. That is, like, the biggest complaint you can give, like, this and to some extent, uh, Adventure 2, is the controls are a little finicky. Very easy to get stuck to walls, because or gravitate towards them.
feel like I probably should have uh, hit that. There we go. And the fucking draw distance. <laughs> at the end of the level. Just after, like, his tail is your fucking ass is in the way. Whoosh. And there's the end. Most of the issues with 06 was that the developers gave the testers the game way too late, and even when they did bring issues for it, the devs ignored them outright. Well, it's also because the, the development time for 06 was just not given enough of it. Then you think, well, fuck, bud, they won't do that shit again. Uh... Same thing happened with the Wii U one. The uh, Lost Worlds wasn't nearly as bad as I think a lot of people framed it to be. That game was playable, for starters. <laughs> Lost Worlds was definitely playable. It also to kind of just write it off as being um, Sonic Royal, or Sonic uh, Galaxy. Is a bit unfair as well. Okay, I don't think we're going to the plane yet. I thought we were doing the plane section. No, the other one, the one where they made Sonic's arms blue. Oh, Sonic Boom! Sorry, I. Funny enough, uh, forget about that one. <laughs> I, I, uh, honestly. I honestly think Sonic Boom is solely a really funny and well-written cartoon, and nothing else. <laughs> yeah, no, Sonic Boom had pretty much the same issues as 06, where it just didn't have the development time it needed. And, like, they were... Uh, they were also coming up with ideas and stuff, and it got scrapped uh, during uh, development. So nothing was given the amount of time it needed to be developed pro properly. Properly. There's a place somewhere in the city where you can go down into the sewer. Is it not here? Okay, it's the other... basic game didn't work at all it was like an early access yeah well that's that ties into the fact that it didn't get developed well enough and they um, were constantly coming up with ideas scrapping ideas and it was a mess it was this huge mess of a development I don't think I'm supposed to go that way okay no I am supposed to go that way Upgrade! Now you've got light speed shoes. Press and hold the action button to store up power. Once you have enough power, release the button and you can do the light speed dash. The light speed dash lets you race toward wings at light Yeah, speed. Uh, Sonic As Boom and Sonic 06 are like. You can go just about anywhere. Balls dropped immensely. And it's... Oh, can I get on the button, please? Ready, go. Ah! 
Sonic is the only character that can still be popular considering how many bad or less average games. Yeah. statue in. Don't use the back door. Where's the burger statue? There it is. There's a different uh, object I gotta find. Okay, now we got to go back to the hotel, I think. Uh, Mario as well, but even Mario's bad games are still great. Yeah! Like, as much as I personally think the Galaxy games aren't that great, they're still good games. I'm trying to think of, like, some recent, like, Without a doubt, bad Mario games. Ready, Hello, uh, Sensei. This is the Crystal Ring. This reduces the time needed to store power. Welcome speed dash. to this thing. Everything still looks fine. Yeah, the Mar <laughs> the Mario phone games are pretty bad. I believe we get to go to the casino now. Yes, we do. But no one likes mobile games. Uh, that's a yes and no question. Or a uh, statement. Oh, we gotta find a different entrance into it. Try for some run, cart, and dock. Ah, that. Yeah, when I heard that the. Uh, Dr. Mario mobile game was bad. I'm like, no. I was actually interested in trying that and just to hear it's not worth it. Oh, oh shit. By the way, we're we're uh, our objective for this level is to collect a enough rings so that way we can reach the Chaos Emerald that's in the vault. So, we might be at this for a little bit. There's other things we can do, but I like pinball. Ah, Funny enough, this is the game where I learned about what Nights in the Dream was because there's a, a reference here in the casino to it uh, during the pinball bit when you get uh, booted out. You, you pass through a, a stage of uh, Nights in the Dreams. It's really nice. I think it's when you get booted out or is it when you transfer to uh, the next machine? We'll find out. We'll find out together. Can I get in there? I will look at the chat in a second. Surprisingly, Pinball does not afford me. Oh, here we go. We're going to see the reference, I think. Maybe not. That was interesting. There we go. You found your way back, Sonic.
<laughs> I just love that Sonic gets stuck a little bit with the momentum into a like a wall or corner. This is a very slow pinball machine. I think I'm stuck in the bumpers. Here, I'm gonna just pause this for a sec. Uh, Kurt and Doc are like gotcha games with the worst roster of available characters. I, kinda, I love Dr. Mario 2. I also like puzzle games in general. I'm also not really good at Dr. Mario. Fuck. Yay, we hit 100. I'm never this good at pinball. Also helps that the ball is very slow and very easy to hit. I am tempted to just uh, drop the ball. Nice. Come on. Oh, so it's... I, I get protected, I think. Let's find out. Yeah. Cannot drop the ball that badly, and I need to get up into that corner again. Sonic, you went the wrong way! Well, I'm not getting that. Just go up. Go up. <laughs> Sonic, you bastard. You bastard. Oh, well. Oh. There you go. I found out they can check the machine. I've never really bothered shaking pinball machines because I don't see the point. Unless your ball is stuck in a spot where it definitely is not coming out. I know people who, when they're playing pinball machines, actually shake it to get a better result. But apparently that's bad. No! That seems like a bad thing to get Eggman. Unless, I guess I gotta get in there. Maybe it's not that bad. Am I supposed to get Eggman's? Oh my god! He was stuck going into the pipe! <laughs> oh. I have no idea what happened there. He didn't go forward. Come on. There we go. Ooh. When I, uh, hit 400, I'll drop Sonic. Because we... I think we only need a thousand rings? There he is. Okay. Come on, Sonic. Oh no. We let Sonic drop. Nice. Okay, let's drop our rings off.
Oh. You might be able to just grab... Nah. Let's... Let's go play one of the other ones. Because we only need 500. Okay, so... That's where we were. That had the, the slot machine. This is cards. We haven't done that one, I think. Is there another one? Or is it just the two tables? There's two tables. Oh, and then there's like an actual level you can play, but uh, we're not here to play levels. We're here to play pinball. Yay, the knight's table. So the goal of this one is you collect the cards uh, to kind of make a hand. And I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a full house you're making or if there's like a certain hand you're supposed to do. Or if you're just supposed to hit the cards. You're not going down there, motherfucker. No, where are you going? Get back here. You almost got in the door by accident. Go, go up the door. Oh, that's not happening. I want to go through the knight's, uh, thing. Oh. Well, that, that's always great. Yeah, he's almost... Ah, oh, he's not going to go through that door. A hundred percent he ain't going through that, unless we put him in there. Uh, oh yeah, I was about to say that, uh... Oh, come on. Uh, there are some mobile games I don't mind. I've been playing a lot of Sega Heroes, uh, which is just a kind of connect uh, four color block thing, but it mixes in with an RPG. Um, go on the door. Oh, cool, I got three of a kind. Let's see if we can get in. Oh, I went that way. What, is, what does that mean? We're just gonna get three of the kind, it looks like. How fast are you gonna go up that? Go back up there, motherfucker. Okay, so yeah, we're just collecting poker hands. Um, yeah, Sega uh, Heroes. Uh, it has, like, an RPG element to uh, a puzzle game. And it involves uh, Sega characters. Not just Sonic and his friends, but, like, crazy taxi characters in there. Um... Valkyrie Chronicles are in there. You know. Super Monkey Ball, Golden Axe. Uh, a bunch of other ones. There are a lot that aren't even in there, but they seem to mix it up. So, like, they have Ultra Beast and, like, Choo Choo Rocket in there. But, you know, they don't have Knights in there yet. There's, uh,. They just started doing Virtua Fighter characters. Which is crazy to think of. So it's fun. And it's, it, it's free to play, and you can play quite a bit without spending any money. It says a lot about a game where you can just, you don't have to spend a single dime on it, and you can still play the full game. Oh, come on, I want to go, I want to go through the, the little thingy. It's not going to happen. Get it, just get out of here. Okay. Let's see if we can get without, uh, dumping... There we go. Yeah, we could have grabbed it. <laughs> well, 
We'll just take a bunch of her rings home with us. Yeah, not bad. Only C ranking because we weren't fast enough. If we quit it while we were ahead. Ah, purple stuff. Amen. Dumb shits dropping the chaos emerald. They only dropped the one though. Oh wait, yeah. Oh man, what happened to that emerald we just had? Uh, I guess Eggman's got one of them, but the other one's safe. That guy must be desperate. That means his two to our one, and that's not good. That's Come no on, good. Guys, we need to get busy. You're also telling me that the, uh... I saw cream. So it's a weird reference that they have. Uh, cream just kind of, like, flying around. Cream the bunny. Chows in space! Another running joke of theirs. You're telling me that the, uh... The Digimon game... Uh, that's on mobile that you're, you and, uh, Laura are playing is also really good. And it's free to play. So, like, there's some really good ones out there. But unfortunately, they're, like, buried beneath, like, some really, like, sleazy ones. Like the ones that Nintendo has been putting out. It's unfortunate to think that, like, as good as a company as Nintendo is, and how we kind of prop them up for, like, a lot of the standards they have for, you know, their DLC practices and, like, development time releasing games and stuff like that. Um, they just drop the ball really badly. Uh, I don't think she's gonna come back out. Uh, they dropped the ball really badly with, uh, mobile. Which is unfortunate, because for a lot of people, that's kind of their first introduction to, like, a lot of Nintendo properties, apparently. Uh, oh, we're taking this to Mystic Ruins. Because it is a stew. It just takes a long time to get good Digimon. It's super rare to get one that can go to Mega, and if they can't, there isn't much point. A little too close to the wall. <laughs> but even if they don't go to Mega, like the, the core game itself is still fun, right? Exactly. All you're looking for is something that's good enough for a mobile game. You know, we're not looking for something we would expect to see on uh, consoles on our phone. Just want something that's distracting. Like one of the games I like playing on there is uh, actually made by Konami, and it's a Sudoku or it's Picaros, but uh, all the Picaros images are Konami uh, titles. And you're just you're looking for something that like you can quickly play on your phone um you know if you're taking the train somewhere you have you're like waiting for a meeting to start you just kind of have your phone on you and nothing else and you don't want to check twitter because nothing's happening the mobile market is a uh, is a uh, is a thing and you gotta know how to work with it Dun, 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 dun. 
be a jump? No, we don't start on the snowboard yet. This uh, <laughs> this level has will have some really goddamn rockin' music. It's actually one of my favorite tracks in the whole game. Not this music. It'll it'll come up shortly. You'll know. We'll get a snowboard and shit just gets real. Oh, it's going up again. I do enjoy the video games made by Konami. Hmm? Sapuka. Am I missing? Okay. Enjoyed is the key word. Konami needs to get their shit together. It's nice that they re-released some of their older titles, but... You can only get so far with that before we want something more than the old Castlevania games. We want, like, something new. Though, uh, there's rumors that a Silent Hill game is actually in the works. So that will be uh, interesting to see how that plays out. And I think that's because it might mostly be because um, uh, there's a lot more regulations being made for pachinko machines. There we go. I could have actually just done that, but given the controls are a little finicky, don't want to trust it. Um. Yeah, there's regulations that have been put in place for pachinko machines. So they're, uh, they're not... They gotta change their tactics up for the element thing. Is active, uh, suicide to retain... Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's just sorry, seeing that word, like, written out... Um... Is weird. <laughs> Jamming music's coming up. Yeah, cool bonus. Or SSX tricky. I do love the music in this level. This is, uh... Great. <laughs> we just gotta find the one we can break through. One of the very few tracks from the soundtrack that I listen to very, very often. I don't even know if the avalanche is chasing me anymore. We're just being ran. I like how we were climbing up the mountain to look for a Chaos Emerald, and now we're just going down it to get the Chaos Emerald. These uh, emeralds aren't that well hidden. The fact that Eggman can't find them is uh, rather pathetic. Because we kind of just stumble upon the lava.
There it is. Just hanging out at the bottom of this mountain. I'm sure many people have, like, slid down this mountain and didn't even, like, bother to touch the gemstone. Yeah, not bad. Alright, where do we go next? Do we actually go into the ruins itself? Can I get out of the water? Or do we have to pop back on the drink? Do we go see the mass rebel? This is this way. Which way to close off? Yeah, it's closed off. Oh wait, Sonic, come on. Come on, buddy, let's go. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. Wait. I'm assuming since it's only the trains departing in three out. There's enough context clues in this game that kind of points you in a rough direction. I mean, I also just double check a little spirit thing that's outside here if we're going the right way. Fuck! We're done. I'm so glad that the stream's working. Ugh. Okay. Where, where did the little spirit go? Okay, I think... I... Oh, there we go. I didn't see Knuckles over there. So he's hiding behind a tree. You gotta beat Knuckles up. <laughs> oh no. Oh, bastard. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. <laughs> I duped you again, Knuckles! I feel sorry for Knuckles, like, he was- he's always played for the one being duped by Eggman. Chaos for now? These are for you, my friend. We never get to see Chaos Three. Oh, no one ever cuts us any slack. 
Yeah, we're we're facing off against uh, Chaos Four. Okay, yeah, this is the one I, the level I remember. Though I remember more with Big the Cat, and it's very weird to do this level with Big. Hey, man, that's not cool. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Poke your head out, you little bastard. Is the camera finicky or what? You don't hit the boss only four times? Or three times? Oh my god, just die! No, that's not fair. I was already jumping. There we go. <laughs> oh no, Sonic, you're drowning. If, like each stream, you just complete a character story. I know that's not gonna happen. Sonic story is fucking long. Behold my floating masterpiece, the egg I was looking back just to check to see if we're dropping anything. Oh no, Eggman's being abducted. Abduct. Abducted. He's been taken. Hey, we can't let him get away. Let's get to my workshop and we'll take the tornado. Yeah. All right. You guys go. I have some unfinished business to take care of. No problem, Knuckles. We'll take care of everything here. Come on, let's get going. Where does Knuckles go? He can now play as Knuckles. No, Knuckles. What's the matter? What are you waiting for? What's the matter? What are you waiting for? It's no use. Okay, I'm just trying to ch keep track of how many emeralds, so he, we don't have any anymore. He took us. The bastard. He took the two that we had. I wanna fly high! High to the sky! Tail steams aren't that great compared to everyone else's.
Whoosh. Now we get a shooter. Oh, sorry about that. That probably sounded really gross on the speaker there. There's no button just to hold down. We just gotta do this. Oh, oh, fuck. Took some damage. Oh shit. We gotta actually aim now. You can't just uh, willy nilly throw bullets all over the place. That's right, you hold it down, you can target. Shoot some missiles. Not that they do much, because they don't quite line up to everything. Did it! Oh, yeah, we don't survive this one. <laughs> Speed running tricks is just to stay in the far bottom right corner of the screen. It's something like that, where they just hang out uh, for this one. Uh, I think the second one they actually have to do a little bit, just because it's technically a boss at the end. But we're not speed running. And it is just not a scroller. Ooh, that's loud. Tails. 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 Wah wah. You're not who I'm looking for. Oh, I wonder if he's okay. Chaos comes and just eats the child. Hey, little buddy, I was worried about you. I'm trying to get stuck in the stairs. Wait, wait. Hey. Drive me! There we go. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Why don't you try going to the casino? This isn't the best time to gamble. Oh, it's even oh, man, I gotta take the other way around. In the door. The best way to get your mind off your friend that went missing. Sonic, wait up. Oh, it's Amy Rose. She's OP.
so super sweet. You can now play as Amy. No trains are currently in service. Oh, I think you missed her sighting. Or, or cream sighting. Alright, so now we go to Twinkle Park, I think. Before we end stream, I'll hop into the Chow Garden. Just because uh, I'm fairly certain uh, Laura has not seen any of this before. And you have to see uh, Chow Garden. What about the rumor? Oh man. That girl is such a pain. <laughs> even the even the cutscene character gets stuck to the wall. Got to rescue some animals. Oh my god, we haven't been, uh, killing any of the, uh, robots or anything. Oh no, you're not a penguin! Get out of here! Penguins are all that matter. Oh my god, okay. Whoa, okay! <laughs> uh, sorry kids, Sonic died. Oh no! That wasn't a penguin. Sonic R again. <laughs> oh my god. Whoop. Okay, I'm supposed to dodge the things. Apparently, the vehicle does not murder them. Also, if I'm not going fast enough, I could fall off uh, during those uh, little ramp bits. I do recall that being a thing. Fast enough? Yes! Very fast. If we don't need to, I'm not fucking around with these, uh, enemies. Oh man, I cannot wait for us to start doing Big's, uh, story. 
Big is the best character in this game. And dash, fuck off. Shit, I don't have any brains. Whoa! Oh, damn. I fell off. Love it. I've seen better fishing mini games from games that don't have fishing mini games. <laughs> Big's uh, missions, yeah, are all focused on fishing, including his boss fights. Uh, all two or three of them that he has. Or maybe, he, he know, I know he has two for sure. But I feel like he has three. And yeah... Uh, they, they literally, like, repackaged the, uh, the Dreamcast game, uh, Big Bass Fishing, or whatever it's called. The one where it had, like, the, the module add-on of the, uh, the wheel, or the, uh, the fishing rod. Okay, fuck it. <laughs> Far gone. There we go. And there's the capsule. I can get up the stairs. We save the animals. It's the best character. Yeah, Rogi. Rogi. How long have you gone for? Welcome to Twinkle Pie. Almost an hour and a half. Oh shoot! I've lost Amy. I bet that robot hauled butt after her. I better catch her before it does. Twinkle Park, Twinkle Circuit. I pick it up. An employee card. Use it. You can use it to get into a building. Building? Yeah. ID check. Complete. <laughs> I got card. I'm allowed in. Go save the animals. I, I glitched out of the level! I clipped out of it. Uh, that's one of the... That, like, uh... This is, like, probably the worst area for clipping. And just getting stuck. In certain places. Trying to kill a lot of enemies. Okay, so that just gives me rings. Gives me rings. Uh. 
Man, how the hell are the cars supposed to do the loops on the <laughs> Under construction, man. Um, it, it's a work in progress uh, with being a work in progress. It's, there's also these things here. The uh, Oh, you can go fast enough. There we go. Oh, fuck off! The helicopter blades damaged me. No, 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 no. I mean, it's a, it's a fun design level, but yeah, realistically, like, uh, how how does how do vehicles use road? Begin, jump, and not take damage. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Thread the needle on that. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. Very rarely do I not get hit by something doing that bit. Those weren't normal roads. Those were walkways. Oh, shit, I wasn't supposed to jump there. I will say some of the level layouts are a little confusing, but I kind of know these levels, so they're not confusing for me, but I mean, if it's your first time, you're probably, like, exploring a lot more. Yeah, not bad. A little nooks and crannies. Officer, get back here. Tails, you're okay. Uh, how are we going to die? It is just about 10. We've been doing this for a bit. Let us... Go to a chow garden. So, in the in this Sonic game, there are actually in all of them, really. There are three chow gardens you have access to. Uh, there's one here in the city, which is just uh, if we go in this elevator, it takes us to it. There's one at Mystic Ruins, which I did mention. It's like that little minecart that was there that we could hop in. Oh my god, we have... Hello? You? You must be my chow from my actual game. What the fuck are you doing here? Oh yeah, wow, these are chows from my actual game. They were on the other memory card, but I guess they just share it. This was supposed to be a supersonic chow. He hasn't... His running and stamina are close. And yeah, you can see he has like the sonic spikes on the back there. And this is just a hero chow. Is there another one? Oh, no. Oh, there you are. Which one are you supposed to be? Silver. He's just called Silver because he's a silver chow. 
Shit. Oh, we got a new, we got a new gold chow. Picaro. He has nothing to his name. He's just a gold chow. Looks like a monkey ball chow. It's because of all the extra shit that's on him. Um, the way the, uh, kind of upgrading your chows works a bit in this game is you would feed them the animals and they would get stuff from that. Oh, we don't want to do any racing yet. They would get, like, a boost to the various uh, stats that way, right? I don't know if you can rename Chow's. You must be able to. Moderately rare. Slightly rare. Slightly rare. Slightly rare. Uh, we don't have a pink Chow there yet. So yeah, uh, in this game you have one here. You got one of the uh, Mystic Ruins, and then you have another one in the third area, which we haven't been to yet, which is the egg carrier. And as you progress through the game, you use the rings that you've collected from levels to purchase uh, eggs to uh, hatch chows, items to kind of uh, have them wear and stuff like that. We're gonna get a pink egg for... Oh no! I don't have enough rings! Sell the animals? Let's find one of those animals. Hello, dear. We're selling you to the black market. I can't buy that from you. <laughs> Why not? It's a perfectly good deer. Where's the, uh, that gold chow that had, uh, the dumb name? Oh, there's a black chow in the corner there. Oh, no, that's just our penguin. Name him something that's not stupid. Where do I do that? Okay, cool. Oh, don't struggle with me. Here. Eat an elephant. And eat the, this penguin. Look at those fucking eyebrows! still a little baby, though. He's still just a little booble. A little booble. No, I can fucking give you food. Eat your food! This was the shit. I, I don't know one person who's ever played a Sonic Adventure game or Sonic Adventure 2 and did not enjoy the the Chow Garden stuff. It's just such a fun and like cute and delightful thing. You like train these little Chows and then you get to do little mini games with them. He's a hungry boy. Picaro is so hungry. Oh, he's walking on his own! Oh. So many pets. Oh, there's a little bit of this. There's a little bit of this. Picaro. Picaro, where are you? Sleep. You don't want that. Uh, wow. All the chows are sleeping? Uh, 
They're all sleeping. What the fuck? Is it nap time? Come on, guys. Get together. People are watching. Figaro. Wake the fuck up. You sit there. Eat this. Oh my god, look at him devour that fucking thing. I think that's hero fruit, so it's, it'll make him more like uh, the hero chow. Okay, now I'm actually curious. Wait. We'll sl uh, we'll sl we'll sl over here. It's a good thing. It's like going to the zoo, but all the animals are sleeping. <laughs> Oh, we haven't been to the other locations yet. I'm sure there's Chow's there. Um, so that that's that's what the Chow Garden is. And that's what that's some of the fun about that is. Uh, being a race. Oh. Apparently, my sister had some Chow's. Why do I have so many? What the fuck? Why do I have so many just, like, no chows? That's so weird. Okay. Uh, We'll go with Krill Core. So apparently this chow is not done before. Oh, uh, look at all these different chows. We even got some dark chows here, too. So, the way the chow races work, uh, you don't get to do a whole lot other than cheer your chow on, which will cost its stamina. But for the most part, it's all automatic. You can't really do a whole lot uh, to encourage your chows, especially in this one. I think in two, they kind of at least uh, did something. There was more of a stamina bar there. You can see uh, depleting to cheer them on. Go. We came in first. Oh, he's a fast boy. Thirty-one seconds to push a ball. Oh, he's a flying type. I was just neutral. See how he does with the uh, with a different race. To cheer for your chows during the race. I think it said that flying chows do a lot better in this course. I should have picked hero, or whichever one I called the hero one. You can do it, little guy. No! Go! Hero! Roar, roar, super Sonic! Oh, stop tripping, you little bastard. I like how it said this is great for flying. Um, we're still first. I don't know why I keep changing camera angles. I don't care about these other chows. My baby boy! He's going! I think they're climbing up a hill and then they kind of like float down. None of them plummet. Some of them just, like, struggle to fly down. It's... it's so stupid. Can, can I see my chow? Oh, yeah, you did it! There's no flying involved. <gasps> oh, man. You did really good, too. He was two seconds faster than uh, the lap best.
Where are you, fast motherfucker? Listen, Piccaro, you got yourself into this mess. You gotta learn how to swim. Alright, you can swim more. <laughs> how good of a swimmer are you? You actually can swim. Look at you! Oh, you're so happy! You're so happy! Come to Papa Sonic. Alright, ready? Go fly! Oh, wow. You did not fly whatsoever. <laughs> oh, no. He's crying now. Don't cry, you little shit. There we go. Get back here. I was petting you. Big old green heart there. Oh, he's enjoying that. He's just enjoying it. Alright, I'm leaving you guys for another six years. <laughs> well, that's fun. I got to see what my... Oh, man, I can't wait to go to Sonic Adventure 2 to see my chows on there. I spent way more time on Sonic Adventure 2 with those chows. Okay, so, yeah, that's not too bad. Nearly two hours. Everything looks fine. The stream streamed nicely. Um, I think I'm going to call it there, though. And we'll, we'll pick this game back up Sunday, I guess. Sunday or Monday. I don't know. Chris, when do you feel like streaming after Friday? Because Chris is streaming more Delhi Premonitions tomorrow. Um, and then Saturday, uh, we're doing a movie night. And so... When, when does Chris feel like streaming? Thank you! Did, Laura, I'm very curious. Did you enjoy the game that you saw so far? Because apparently, despite the fact you had a Dreamcast for a very short time, you never played Sonic Adventure. Or Adventure 2. Okay, so if you're going to do Monday, then I'll, I'll do Sunday. Um, at some point when you guys are free to watch. So there we go. We, we, we got plans. And yeah, we'll come back to this. We'll... Uh, the plan is to beat this game, do a few Sonic games, like shorter Sonic games to play, like one offs in between, and then move on to uh, Sonic Adventure 2, which I am very excited for because that's the one I like most out of the two games. And then, um, yeah. You'll, it's going to be very weird because there are stories in this game uh, that are super fucking short. Like, Biggs has three levels and two or three bosses or something like that. You know, Sonic's is the longest one. Tails and Knuckles are kind of, like, uh, within the same region. Uh, there's a robot that we play as that's kind of uh, the same length as Amy's story. And I think those are all the characters. And it's Super Sonic, but that's the last chapter. Which is, like, one or two. Like, one mission, actually. So far, so good. I like the little cute pet things. Those are called chows, Laura. Those are chows. Uh, oh, do I have my... Oh, my chow plushie is in, in, uh, right here. I have a, a chow plushie, and I think it's in the closet with the, with the plushie pile. I'll have to remember to bring that out for next time. Because chows are awesome. Okay, so yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming. And uh, I'll be streaming again on Sunday. And until next time, keep on gaming. Woo! 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 Boosh.